Just across the border from San Diego, California, Tijuana has struggled to shake off its reputation as a seedy town, a town of vices, Mexico law enforcement is in as often depicted in Hollywood films. In recent years, it's managed to reduce crime levels and lure back the tourists with a different menu. A bit of food, a bit of beer, lots of tacos, all the good stuff. Indeed, the Tijuana revival was getting brilliant reviews. But it was short-lived. Now the clock has turned back, as evidenced by the increased presence of this heavily armed wing of the state police. In the last six months, the murder rate here in Tijuana has soared, making it one of, if not the highest, in all of Mexico. And as usual, the cause is drug-related. A new turf war between three competing drug cartels is taking a gruesome toll. At the morgue, we're told up to 15 murder victims are brought every day. One of them was Luis Antonio Lopez's niece. I couldn't believe it when I saw the photo on Facebook and called the person who posted it. She told me my niece was here in the morgue and I came over to identify her body. So far this month, we've had 117 killings. May was the worst month, but since 2016, it has been steadily rising. Tijuana is not alone, but its proximity to the border makes it especially vulnerable. Given the escalating appetite for drugs smuggled into the United States. This container holds 2,000 doses of crystal meth. Altogether, with everything that's just been confiscated, it's 14,000 doses. And we're told that all of it was destined for the U.S. market just across the border. But for residents like Fausto Martinez, who sells tacos, impunity is what is feeding the fear that they're facing once again. As I told a lady the other day, hunger is stronger than fear. I have to work. Only God knows when it will be my turn. The government does nothing to control it. And control it, it must, if the city is to ever overcome the stigma of representing all that's wrong with Mexico. Okay, si pasar, por favor, Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Tijuana.